Wow, did you see that? Those clips were poisonous plants. As beautiful as those flowers, they will definitely hurt your animals, your goats especially. Um, there are there are over thousands of poisonous plants for humans and animals. So if you are again trying to get a, a, a small farm, make sure you do your research and look at, at what you have in your pasture because forage forage animals and um, and graze animals that, that that pretty much feed off the land, they will eat that and, and things can happen and you don't want that in your homestead. So please do some research. Um, they also have uh, plums, peaches, uh, cherries, anything with like uh, a pit um, or definitely the leaves from uh, these fruits are very, very highly uh, poisonous. So please do some research. Um, let me see, uh, potato, potato roots, uh, potato peels. Uh, a lot of people do uh, give some to their their, uh, their goats, but I wouldn't recommend it. So yeah, don't do it. Um, I, I wouldn't want to put my family, my animals in danger. So please, um, I really suggest don't do it, you know, for each his own, but I wouldn't want to put um, our, our animals in danger at all. Um, but a good way to prevent that is um, feeding your animals consistently on a time basis, when to feed them, make sure they're full, make sure they're eating properly, got all their minerals, and they will most likely avoid the poisonous plants and um, yeah, and, and a lot of them are not poisonous. They are toxic, but it all depends on, on the amount they eat. So again, if you feed them good, consistently, uh, on a time basis, on you know, and you won't have to worry about it. So that is actually, you know, that's like one of the best ways for your goats not to, uh, not to engage in those poisonous plants. Um, but, um, it takes a lot of work. Um, farming does take a lot of work. It's like another full-time job. Um, so I definitely recommend to do some research, um, especially because, you know, you never know what you're going to get into. You don't want to wait to the last minute and everything goes bad. Um, and I haven't experienced it and I wouldn't want to experience it. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do the best I can to make sure they're, they are okay uh, for the time that I have them um, and for the rest of their life, you know. So definitely um, everything, everything, everything I do, everything the family does, we all complete it with one step at a time. Um, I definitely recommend uh, everybody to make sure you do some research. Uh, I will leave, however... Uh, a link up on the top um, look into it it gives you a little guide um, step but definitely do your own research and find out what is or what do you have on your pasture um, let the let the grass grow the weeds grow so you can actually determine and uh, and be able to identify it um, but yeah that's what I got uh, so I hope your homestead and your animals are doing great um, please follow up, um, subscribe, hit the like, um, and I will see you again. California coastline, midday Texas sun, misty rain in the Smoky Mountains, out here on the run. Lights of New York City, streets of Boston town, Golden Gate in San Francisco. Seattle's Puget Sound Been a long time traveling Rolling on from town to town Seen so many places Still 
Seen so many places, still don't. 